My relationship with, with God has always been a real personal one and is one of, oh, for lack of a better word, observation. I am so enthralled with this thing called life. And I think I see it more when I see children. Because somebody once said that when you look in the face of a child, you're looking at the face of God. And, and when you see what it is they see, you understand what a gift life is and also how short a time you have to get your work done. And that work is whatever God puts you here to do. In my case, it's uh, to help others, motivate them, to let them know that it's okay. You might say that I'm a uh, motivational entertainer. I've got the, the thought for the day. Now you're going to have to follow me. I, I see myself really as a, as a cheerleader of life. But I, I truly believe that along the way so many people have come into my life and I believe that God sends them to teach me a lesson. I um, do a morning show in San Antonio real early morning so we have to get up at like 3 30, 4 o'clock and usually about 4 30 I'm in a drive through getting what we call breakfast tacos in, in Texas and there's a place called Taco Cabana that sells these. They're open 24 hours. So I pull into this one Taco Cabana at 4 30 in the morning and I hear this voice that says welcome to Taco Cabana how may I serve you? And I'm thinking to myself, am I in the right place? What's going on here? And I told her what I wanted. I pull up to the window, and this lovely lady named Ruby says, Hi, my name is Ruby. How are you? Now, you wanted uh, bacon, right? We're going to make some fresh bacon for you. And how did you want uh, the, those eggs? Did you want them? And I, I, my mouth is just, I can't believe it. I mean, it's 4.30, and I'm at a drive through and I'm getting, like, Ruth's Chris service. It's <laughs> unbelievable. So I couldn't wait to get on the radio to tell my listeners about the experience, and I couldn't wait to get off the air to write a letter to the president of Taco Cabana about this, this lady named Ruby. So the next morning, I'd, I'd come by, and she already had it ready. Or I would drive through the, up to the, uh, the, the little uh, speaker, and she'd say, Come on up, Sonny. I got it ready for you. And as time went on, I realized that this is what she did for everybody. Come to find out that Rudy, Ruby was a single mom. She had a 13-year-old at home, and she was trying to figure out, how am I going to get him to college? What am I going to do to pay for it? Now, it would have been real easy for this lady to have had the attitude, what happened to my life? I mean, look at me. I'm in my, my 40s. I've got, I've got a kid. I'm by myself. I'm making minimum wage. I'm stuck at a drive through in the middle of the night. What happened to my life? But that was not her attitude. Her attitude was to serve was to do everything she could to really fulfill her job. Well, as time went on, I, I got to be not only friends with her, but she would uh, you know, mention different things that, that, that she wanted to do. And I found out that she had all kinds of, of dreams and aspirations. And because I'm in radio and we give away all these different prizes, people are always asking us for tickets, for concerts, or, or CDs, or whatever. And one day I drove up and she said, Sonny, I was wondering, you wouldn't by any chance have any tickets to the Spurs game tonight, basketball game. And I thought to myself, well, if anybody deserves to ask for tickets, it's Ruby. And I said, no, Ruby, I'm sorry, I don't. She says, well, I would like you to have mine. You see, I'm employee of the month, and I cannot go, and you're my best customer. I want you to have them. Oh, shut up. Now, you talk, of, shut up indeed, yeah. <laughs> you talk about a lesson that was taught me. Unbelievable that this lady would want to do something. And, and believe me, I can get tickets to any game any time, but I graciously accepted them. I said, Ruby, oh, wow, thank you so much. She is now, that was about seven years ago, she is now the head of city public service in San Antonio. She is actually the office manager and has a full staff under her. Cream rises, and it rises because of that attitude. 